Hello everyone, today I want to show you an awesome trick of how to log or protect your cell based on the cell color in Excel. So the work scenario that you might counter, encounter is that uh, you have a data sheet that you have been working on for a while, everything um, is pretty much ready, you have a couple of cells that you're not sure and then you want to send it to someone else to add it further, but then basically you want it to be like when you send it to them, everything else is locked so they can change. and only only the yellow cells that they can change. Well, how do we do that in just one click? Well, watch out. Uh, the first thing you need to do is make sure that everything is not locked already. So to do that, uh, you go here for um, the top left and then select all the cells and then go to format cells. Make sure it's um, nothing is locked there. So if that's uh, blank, okay, cool. Uh, and then you go to the developer tab. While it's not pre-launched for you, if this is the first time you're watching this, um, you can go to my video on Get Macro Ready for Excel to see how you can launch this tab. It's very handy to use uh, and uh, it's on the top right. And then when you go there, just go to Visual Basics. Uh, this is what you're going to see for uh, the VBA projects for your Excel macro. So to do this, um, you need to go to here in the module and then make sure you insert the module here. And then you are going to have this blank worksheet here with a cursor here. So now what you do is just copy and paste. Uh, I have the codes ready for you already. Uh, so you just copy the code and then um, go here and then paste. Um, couple things to make sure like you start with a sub with the name of your macro and then you end the sub to close it um, and the macro here is basically having um, the first portion saying that well if it's a yellow cell which the index is six then we don't lock it at everything else we lock it and then second part is that we're going to protect it and then we're going to protect with a password of one two three four six um, and then after that there's going to be a message box popping up saying that cells logged and she's protected Okay, now let's close it. Um, and then we have a button here and then we basically just um, right click and then you're gonna see add a text and then you can change um, how you want it to look. Um, and then you assign a macro. Uh, you're gonna have only one macro for this workbook, uh, which is locked by color. Um, so you okay it and then now it's assigned and then you click on it. And here you go, you have the message box, cell log and ship protect and see, let's see what happens. So all the white cell, remember we said we don't want them to be locked. Well, uh, to be locked, yeah, now they're locked. No one can change it. But then for the yellow ones, you can change it as in any way you want. There's no restriction to that at all. So isn't that awesome? Um, it saves you tons of time. And uh, if you want to unlock everything and further add it, you just go to review on protect and then type in your password. And then you'll be able to add it everything again. So that is really just how it's working it's that easy and then sometimes um, I personally use yellow color a lot and then you can see the index is six but then if you have any other preference uh, you can go to the color index and where it shows you um, the common colors that we're going to use and then you see yellow is a six one is black and two is a white blah 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 I'm gonna uh, copy the common ones to my description so that you can uh, reference that very easily on your macro codes as well. So that's it. And I hope this has been helpful for you. If you find it helpful, please like it and please subscribe to my video. That would be a huge support for me. Thank you.